Just arrived here a few minutes ago. This story is developing as we speak, and lawmakers are going to have to say, going to have a lot to say about it. We've already confirmed the passage of that roads plan in the Senate. Republicans who pushed it through without Democratic support say it uses existing dollars plus new revenue. Now, this is slightly different than what the House had passed a little while ago. Beginning in fiscal year 2019, 150 million dollars in general funds getting redirected to roads. In 2020, that grows to 325 million and 600 million for 2021. There's an increase in state gas and diesel tax that would raise it to 26.3 cents starting in January 2017 and indexed to a rate of inflation in 2022. All of that designed to raise an eventual 400 million. Lastly, another 200 million would come from a 20% increase in registration fees for cars and trucks starting in January 2017. Now, electric and hybrid owners would have to pay a bit more. All of that comes to a grand total of 1.2 billion that the governor has called for to fix broken roads and bridges. Now, there's still some details we're in the process of learning, and of course, it all goes back to the House. I'm hearing that they could be voting soon. Now, if they pass it quickly, the governor's office letting me know that he will be ready to sign something quickly as well. We're going to hear from lawmakers on both sides coming up at 5 o'clock. For now, live in Lansing, Simon Shaykhet, the now Detroit. Yeah, we're certainly tired and weary and would like a plan in place. Simon, thank you so much.